Magandang buhay and welcome to my channel. Meron akong isang importanteng topic to discuss today involving senior citizens. The question is very ticklish and it's a very sensitive question na madalas tinatanong o naiisip ng karamihan na ang mga senior citizen ba ay qualified pa para magtrabaho? Sila ba ay may karapatan pa sa mundong ito para makapasok sa trabaho? Do they have the right to work and still join or rejoin the workforce? Yan ay mga tanong na hindi lahat ay nasasagot. But then I will just discuss to you this certain issue which is very important. Disclaimer po muna. I'm not a lawyer. Hindi po ako abogado. But I'm just basing my opinions and observations based on my work. I've been exposed to the human resources field for a quite long, long time already. So, ito po ay base lamang sa aking experiences in dealing and treating the way how we employ people. And this is a very sensitive question as well that I need to ponder upon the senior citizens. Are they still allowed to work? Or the question is, do they have the right or are they qualified to work? still or are they qualified to apply for a job? Ang tanong na yan, yes, they are still qualified to work. Yes, they are still qualified to apply for a job. And yes, they are welcome in the mainstream of workforce. Unang observation ko or one of my observations sa issue na to is because Iniisip kasi ng karamihan, gano'n ba kahalaga ang mga senior citizens to work nowadays? Sila ba ay kapakipakinabang sa atin, sa mundo na namamasukan in the, the workforce field? Sila ba ay kapakipakinabang? Madalas tinatunong yan at in the human resources field or side, ay minimeasure yung situation na yan. We conduct certain measures we conduct certain things and the pros and cons on are they fitted for the job or are they qualified and if we accept them into the mainstream can we have a good nudge on them sila ba ay karapat dapat yan ay a good question to ponder upon at karamihan sa mga senior managers human resources managers lalong lalo na ang mga lawyers ng companies, they do have this problem brainstorming the issue are senior citizens still to be integrated into the mainstream of the workforce? Yan ang tanong palagi. Now, because this topic is a very long topic and I need to discuss lang muna in a short while or short period of time just to see the eyes the eyes that tip of the eyes on the situation about the qualifications of senior citizens being uh, perceived as candidates or applicants. Okay? <clears throat> Tanong is, are they still qualified to apply? Yes, they are still qualified to apply and they are guaranteed by the law. Yes, they are still qualified to apply because they are still or they are qualified more than enough. Alright? Question lang kasi karamihan, pag ang pinag-uusapan natin ay lakas ng muscles natin, well, that is a big question. But, if we are talking about the minds, the wisdom, their experiences, that's another question. Alright? Ang tanong ngayon is, Ano ba ang priba natin na mga senior citizens are qualified? Matanong ko lang kayo. Saan sa mundong ito in our government now na nakakita tayo ng mga millennials na department secretaries, mga administrators, mga superintendents or division chief ng mga branches of the government or 
even the private sectors. Wala, di ba? Mga senior citizens sila, they are being rehired again to join the mainstream. Bakit? The answer is to continue the legacy and continuity of trying to train the millennials, especially those entering the fields as entry-level job workers, mid-managers, and senior managers. Doon kailangan ng mga senior citizens because they have that wisdom and experience. Ngayon, ang tanong, saan ba pwede mamasukan ng mga senior citizens? I can mention a few, but these are only some of a few things na kailangan kong ma-mention sa inyo because it's very known now na sila ay fully accepted sa mga sectors na babanggitin ko. I can mention BPO industry. This is one sector na I can say are fitting enough to reveal na they are the only ones at the moment, the companies that fully accept with open arms among senior citizens to work with them, to join their workforce. Why? Because they are qualified, they have the wisdom, they are loyal employees, and they know what to do, as well as they are trainable employees. Loyal in a sense na they can stay in a company for quite a long period of time as long as they are needed. That is one option. Tinitignan karamihan ngayon ng mga analysts sa company because of the rate of turnover sa mga companies is very big and very disturbing. Can you imagine if you have 12% rate of turnover ng workforce mo ay umaalis sa'yo within 3 months, within 4 months, within 6 months stops? nababawasan ka ng empleyado. Yan ay on the side ng mga young ones trying to transfer from one job to the other and they are job hoppers. Kaya dyan nakikita ngayon ang kahalagahan ng mga senior citizens joining and rejoining the workforce. I will discuss that issue in a lengthy manner one of these days but for now I will just concentrate on my topic about senior citizens' rights in applying for a job that are they qualified to apply for a job. Okay. I can also mention one source where senior citizens are acceptable, especially in academe. Sa mga eskwelahan, they can be high school teachers, elementary and high school teachers. They can be college professors or college instructors. They can be university instructors or university professors. As long as hindi sila ulianin, okay? Because those institutions are lacking with qualified personnel and we need and they need persons with wisdom, knowledge, and experience, especially in the academic field. And this is where the senior citizens can really fill up these positions wide open. And then yung mga service sectors, katulad ng Jollibee, McDonald, Manginasal. Uh, the question is, are these senior citizens willing to work? Dahil it requires a lot of pressures involving their muscles and uh, it's time consuming din sa kanila. So, it's a question now whether gusto ba nilang pasukan yan o hindi. Although they are qualified and they are to be accepted as long as they wanted to work. Nakikita natin yan. Dito kasi sa Pilipinas, there is a negative notion about not employing seniors na dahil nga sa ating paniniwala, paniniwala ng company or which has been perceived before a tradition na we only accept young ones because they, we wanted them to stay within 10 to 20 years in a company. But it's been proven wrong na karamihan sa mga empleyado, they go, they come and go and makikita natin na napakalaking disparity. We need loyal employees to stay in our company, to sustain the operations. Okay? So, that's now a trend na nakikita natin. Sa ibang bansa, wala tayong problema sa mga senior citizens working. It's an acceptable fact doon na everybody is qualified to work as long as they are willing 
and fitted for the job and I passed the hiring process. Dito sa Pilipinas lang tayo nakakaroon ng problema right now. But sooner or later, kasi na unti-unti na tayo nagigising sa bagay na yan, that we are now accepting the senior citizens to work, to be accepted back into the mainstream of workforce. And the rest, nakikita natin ang mga senior citizens is still managing their own businesses. So, malalakas pa sila. They are still active in the workforce, being owners and entrepreneurs. Wag na wag natin maliitin ang mga senior citizens because they are still very active in the working force. Okay? Ngayon, let's talk about the law. Ang mga senior citizens, alam ba nyo na they are guaranteed under the law? Republic Act 10911 which is called simply called the Anti-AIDS Discrimination Law. This law was authored by former Senator Pia Cayetano. Although interpreting this law into the mainstream of how to immerse it with the label law, the BIR provisions and the other affecting laws that are in existence ay medyo hindi pa masyadong nabiblend but it will be blended as maybe or perhaps let's hope na ang mga lawmakers natin one day will try to integrate a proper blending of this law but this is a good start already allowing the senior citizens to have the right to apply and being qualified to apply for a job if they wish to okay garantisado na tayo mga senior citizens to work or to apply for a job because of this Republic Act 10911 simply called the Anti-AIDS Discrimination Law okay so sa batas na to ay nagkakaroon ng pagkakataon ang mga senior citizens the right to apply the right to choose which company they want to apply for Although in the process, in the human resources process, the hiring process in human resources is that they have to pass the usual hiring process. Mention yung examination, physical examination, written exams, interview, etc. Those are routinary. Mapabata ka man o matanda, you have to pass that kind of examination. But now there is no more discrimination when it comes to age limit. There, there is a legal limit for a person to start working and there is now a law allowing old persons, the senior citizens, to be able to join the mainstream or rejoin the mainstream of workforce and they are now qualified to apply for a job as long as they're willing and they pass the hiring process. Okay? So, yun lang muna masasabi ko ngayon na banggit ko lang itong topic na to because it's very important for me to tell people at masabi na rin na there is a law pala requiring or there's a law pala guaranteeing everyone especially the senior citizens that they can rejoin that they can apply and they are qualified to apply okay so hanggang dito na lang muna and I hope nakapagbigay ako ng isang magandang informasyon And uh, please, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You like me na rin. And please share this blog so that magkaroon naman ng idea ang mga friends natin na iba dyan who are still wanting to apply for a job. The senior citizens particularly who wanted to rejoin the workforce. Alright? And please, click na rin yung, mga, yung notification button dyan sa ilalim, whatever it is. See you on my next vlog.